Logic Pro tutorial and a continuation of my songwriting series. Now in my last video we, we uh, recorded a click track to give us something to record to and in this video we're going to record a, an acoustic guitar track and then we're going to take a look at creating a comp and exploring the take folders. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do before we start recording our guitar track is we need to create a count in. So I selected one measure right here, selected a hi-hat sound, and just put a four count in there so I know when to start playing. So uh, now we can start on time. And it's really twofold because when we bounce the track down at the end, when we're mastering it, uh, we need a little space there at the end so we can just delete this one measure, leave the, uh, the blank space there, and that gives us a little space at the beginning of our recording. So let's, uh, let's add a new track now for our guitar. Hit this little plus button here up in your global tracks. And that adds a new track. We're going to select audio, create. And in our um, audio track here, there's, there's nothing selected here. So what I would recommend, instead of trying to figure out what plugins you need, unless you just happen to know, just start with some of the presets. So let's uh, click on the settings button here and go down to acoustic guitar and I'll just select basic here and you can see it is very basic what it selects for you. A tuner, an EQ, and a compressor. So um, highly recommend you tune your instrument before you start your recording. Um, there's nothing worse than hearing a guitar that's out of tune. The uh, channel EQ and the compressor, it's going to be uh, pretty basic. It's going to be a fairly dry recording. Um, we'll, we'll look at some of the other presets and uh, we'll look at a way to audition those. So in preparation for my recording, I'm going to look at my project here and I know I want to record verse 1 and the chorus. So I need to select the regions that that's in. So Here's verse 1 and here's chorus 1. So I select that. Now I'm going to set locators. And what that does is that toggles on the cycle mode. If I notice the green bar up here, I can hit the C on the keyboard to cycle the um, toggle the cycle mode on and off. So I want that on. And then I want my playhead, position my playhead over here on bar 1 so that I get my count in. So I've got my playhead positioned. I want to turn on my recording on my track for my acoustic guitar. And now all I do is hit the R on the keyboard to start the recording. And it's going to start here from position one, play my four beat count in, and then I'm going to record 16 bars here, verse one and chorus one. When it gets to the end here, it'll loop back around and start over at bar two because that's where the position of this cycle uh, is on. So, uh, and then each take it's going to create another folder, a take folder. And then, uh, so we'll do about four of those and then we'll go back and listen to them and, uh, and then we'll explore those take folders. So what I decided to do here is just take a piece of the, uh, the verse here and record it in the interest of time. And I did that and now you can see here that I have four takes and a comp folder at the top. So let me just zoom into this. Uh, we'll just highlight these four areas. Hit the Z key on the keyboard. Now you can see I have um, my first take down here on the bottom, the second, third, and the fourth take. And by default, the fourth take, the whole fourth take is selected now, which makes up our comp. First thing we want to do is maybe just listen to this. So I have the uh, cycle mode turned on and I have this area selected here so we'll cycle through here and in real time you can just click on your takes so you can see take four is the one we're listening to so we'll start with one and just listen to that and then change it in real time Okay, we'll start with take one here, and um, and now I want to make sure that this quick swipe comping is turned on. 
um, and you know it is by because it's checked here and also this uh, little button right here this little indicator tells you that it's on if you turn it off it's kind of grayed out here so we just click that and it's turned on and then your uh, cursor turns to like a double pencil tool here and that allows you to swipe here and um, and to take you know different sections of the different takes so and then that's how we're going to make our comp so we're going to select all of um, of take one and give it okay there was a little buzz right here so we're going to try take two in that area and see how okay and then there was a skip right here that didn't sound good so maybe we'll um, we'll try this area up here in the third So you can see we're playing take one here, take two here, take three here. Well, we go back down here to take one, then three, and then back down to one. And now I think I'll start here and just do the rest of take four. And we'll see how. So you get the idea. Now, um, we can just double click this and close this folder if we like and then uh, we can go back and edit it later if we want to or we have some other options here we can um, we can flatten this comp and what it does is it puts it all in one region here uh, well in several regions actually uh, on this track and each re region is then the um, the take that I selected from the different take folders. That's one option. The other option is to go in here and flatten and merge. When you flatten and merge, it makes a new region and puts it all together. Okay, now we're done recording our guitar track. There's a couple of things you might want to do while you're here. And that's uh, one, open up your EQ. And let's take a look at, this is a preset for the basic acoustic guitar and you can see here at um, 1100 Hertz they've added one and a half DB here so let's just take that I mean you would never do this but we, we want to get I'm going to narrow this down a little bit here we want to get an idea of what these different frequencies uh, sound like so this is a good way to do it so let's just play it and we're going to move this around the, the frequency uh, range here and see what it sounds like. So you can see what we're doing here. We have uh, accentuated the different frequencies and you now you can hear what 500 hertz sounds like or 200 hertz or 300 hertz and uh, 2k, 3k, 5k and if you hear something offending in that area uh, then you can cut it. Uh, but again you would never boost this much and we can do the same thing uh, experiment a little bit with it by, um, by cutting it way down and just play it and then move around the uh, frequency band. Okay, I like that. We'll just leave that for now. And, uh, and you can see that's a good way to uh, experiment with your EQ. 
Um, the other thing we might want to do, this is totally a dry sound now, you might want to just experiment and play with some different uh, presets here for the uh, acoustic, I'm on a basic acoustic, and we can do this um, while the uh, track is playing. So what I was doing there is using the Option Command key and then um, the right arrow, and that was just going to the next uh, channel strip setting here. So when I got down to the stereo doubler, I wanted to see what that was, so that's why I stopped there and just looked at it. But we're going to go ahead and, and select Warm Acoustic Plate for this guitar. And, um, and that'll get us a basic guitar track. Now, I'll go in and copy and paste this and put it uh, where it needs to go. And uh, the next uh, video, we'll be ready to add another instrument and continue on with our song building. Thanks for watching.